love you, teacher and guests. Uh, I'm here, uh, Dr. Kanekova, and I work as a member of the community which is named after the project and I'm very proud of it. And I also work at a uh, state examination center of uh, the public of Azerbaijan. And um, I often engage people, students using the top listening to talking and listening to eating classes. Okay. Now, there are many sources uh, for listening on the internet. And I want to ask to the audience, what is your favorite source? What's your favorite source? Okay, we can. Which channel? Okay, another one. Yes, the YouTube. Okay. Now I want to ask you, what's the most efficient one? The efficient one. Depends on the. Yeah. Depends on the. The efficient one is the the thing that contains all skill. Yeah, all skill and for for all age groups. Yeah. Okay. Now, is this source proper for all age groups? No. It depends on the source. Yeah. 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 Okay. And next question I want to ask you: Can this source attract students continuously? No. Today, tomorrow, day after that, next month, next year? No. It depends. Yeah. Okay. And listening has a fundamental function to facilitate to the discourse of a spoken person, and uh, it depends on it, uh, his or her uh, accent or pronunciation, grammar, vocabulary, and comprehension of meanings. Okay, but films provide us both visual and audio materials, uh, which can uh, uh, can be useful and it can attract uh, grab students and uh, learners uh, attention. So film as a media in learning languages is encouraging uh, in encouraging to, to do more. And also people can learn faster and easily by audio visual material than by just only verbal uh, explanation itself. And mission movies in particular make it language more uh, alive and become more vivid. So uh, while students are uh, enjoying just uh, watching them, uh, watching the animated movie itself, they can also learn uh, by, uh, the, even they don't know this, but they can learn uh, language itself. And uh, we can use this both speaking and listening classes. Now I want you to ask that what can, kind of lesson we can prepare from this segment? For example, listening, speaking, grammar, vocabulary, what kind of lesson you can prepare for? All of them, yeah? As a grammar lesson, can you, can you say what kind of grammar you can teach by this segment? Tense forms, yeah. I thought you'd be, you'd be, we can teach that then. We can teach also context for this. Wow. Because they use some uh, social uh, message that about stereotyping. And I have another question for you. Okay, what is stereotyping for you, teacher? What is stereotyping? Uh, 
uh, I would send only one message. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now, um, uh, we saw that uh, segments have uh, the power says to the bunny, oh, you are cute, but bunny oh, is offended because uh, bunny says that other bunny says me cute, it's okay, but another animal says me cute, it's a little bit offending. And uh, the, uh, we can teach also concepts and social problems uh, to our students what is correct and what's not because uh, students and we all do this without knowing that we are stereotyping someone or something and uh, in the middle we also see that bunny is also stereotyping she doesn't know about it too okay. it was a pre-listening activity before we watched the segment we can ask students if they know about stereotyping what's it or uh, maybe they don't know if they know we can clarify uh, the uh, real meaning. While well, listening activity example, we can use gap filler tasks, but uh, we can divide it into uh, different uh, tasks. How? If our students are lower level of English knowledge, we can uh, use uh, gap filling tasks as choose the words from the box, because if they don't know the words, how to write it, they can just guess, oh, this pronunciation should be this word. Uh, they can, uh, they by guessing, can find it easily. But if we have higher level of uh, English uh, knowledge students, we can use this write the missing words. So they, uh, they should guess the word by just pronouncing it after several times. Stereotyping, stereotyping, they'll find a way to write it. Maybe they'll have some typos or they'll have some uh, just a spelling mistake, but they'll learn uh, the uh, word itself uh, and uh, they don't forget it because they found this house, right? They never seen this before, but they found how to write it by guessing. And after some time, uh, they'll just uh, say that, ah, I found how to write it by just guessing. And uh, uh, I uh, just uh, did some experiments at, at my classes. And when students uh, guess written form, they'll never forget it. Like maybe they forget after some time, but uh, it's easy to remember them. After that, post listening activity examples is simple QA uh, is not for uh, example for this because if you don't have time or you don't have any gadgets and you're doing just random lesson, you can do QA every way and every time. And uh, true or false, and to tell the moral of the story and summarize, we, uh, we can do all the tasks. Uh, uh, by individual group, uh, peer groups, small groups, or large groups, but it depends. And uh, I uh, use uh, for uh, the moral of the story and summarizing part, I use small groups or large groups because if someone is a student, think about like the moral of the story is this, and say that it, it's not that effective. But if they discuss it before seeing it, uh, they'll maybe understand another moral of the story, uh, they'll see another aspect of the theme and uh, they can summarize it easily because uh, they hear another vocabulary from their peers uh, and other students and they can use another sentences while uh, they're uh, summarizing it. So I want you to watch another segment of the Zootopia movie and after that I'll ask you another question. Actually the cup you want it when 
You want it well. Okay, how can we understand this question? <coughs> Okay, cover talk, yeah? Okay. We can say it as a job, we can teach it as a job, and also inverted form of question form. We teach students that we need first WH uh, question verb, then we need some uh, ugly verb, subject, predicate, and blah, blah, blah. But we see here, the last word is the WH question word, which is which should be the first one. Uh, we can teach them inverted question form with this example. And also it's a job. Like what? It, uh, everyone comes there and say, okay, I need it now. I'm in a hurry. And so I say, you want it when? Mm -hmm. I don't care what you, uh, when you want it, but I'll prepare it for you. Okay, and I want, and I, uh, we can also uh, teach them another job by uh, three home channel. Yeah. Okay. Preparing speaking lessons with Zootopia. Okay, I already talked about how to uh, prepare listening lessons with pre, uh, mid, uh, while listening and post listening activities. Now we can use uh, preparing speaking lessons with Zootopia. And uh, for this, the most common, uh, most common lesson is role playing. And everyone loves doing role play. But if we have uh, introverted and extroverted students, Introverted students don't want to be on the stage. They don't want to do something in front of all the class. So we can use another time, another another lesson uh, with Flipgrid, which is a great tool to use uh, like for both having fun and also education. Like uh, we can say them uh, that you need to watch it and then you should record your video. Maybe uh, they can do something like uh, they can use something uh, they like about their favorite character, favorite scene. Maybe they tell some joke and post it online. And it's uh, fun uh, for both children, uh, students, and both teachers. How? Uh, for example, students do this without knowing that it's their lesson, it's their assignment, because they love posting videos everywhere. They love counting uh, likes, comments, and it's their uh, uh, the most interesting uh, hobby doing something online and social. Uh, and especially for introverted students. Also, it's uh, entertaining for teachers to watch some videos and to just comment them, give feedback, while uh, they're also having fun watching it and having rest. Okay, there are other apps such as Filmorago, uh, which is really good app to edit videos, and we can uh, assign them another lesson, dubbing uh, some segments. If they uh, like to like um, doing a, a dub smash thing, if you see like in Instagram or TikTok, they always post some uh, dub smash videos, uh, something like dubbing another uh, another movies or thing. Um, but if they use it for Zootopia and for lesson, they'll uh, anyway they learn the language. And also, while they are uh, they want to uh, film themselves. They need to practice more. They want to rehearse it more because they want to seem cool or fashionable, and they want to uh, be fluent uh, while they're uh, posting their videos because friends will see it. Friends will uh, just uh, comment it if you're wrong or something. While they're preparing another video to post, they do more rehearse and they become fluent in that sentence, in that uh, range of words, vocabulary, or something. Okay, so Topia by Walt Disney. Why Disney and why Zootopia do you think? Why I choose this? Colorful. Colorful. Interesting. We all love interesting. Okay. Interesting person. We might not have a title. But we do have that kind of graphic, yeah. Okay, why did they make movies? Because Disney is really perfect at their job. That's why uh, there is not any answer. Because uh, Disney knows how to grab attention for, uh, for all age groups. They know how to use colors. And I think it comes after Steve Jobs because uh, he built up uh, Pixar and then they just 
uh, joints, and after that, the, the graphics and clothes and colors become more vivid. And it's because we just had some uh, studies uh, about colors, and we can see this by the uh, these icons that everyone wants to buy iPhone, and they are attracted uh, to iPhone, and they don't know why, because uh, they use colors, graphics uh, so well. And <clears throat> Why Disney animated movies, uh, I said, uh, we have lots of uh, Disney animated movies, but the most uh, famous one is Frozen. But uh, when I use Frozen in my lesson, uh, boys just whining, I don't want to watch princess movies. I don't want to watch the prince. I don't want to watch the, her fear. Why should I? And boys don't love it. But when I use the Sophia, uh, both boys and girls are attracted to it. For young children, the topic is a favorite tale. However, uh, it, uh, it has uh, really hidden meanings and social problems like discriminating, raci uh, racism, or uh, stereotyping, as we talked before. They have hidden meanings which adults can take from it. Yeah. So it's really useful for all age groups. And uh, as boys and girls, like. We can apply animated movies both in and out of the class. How? In class, we can use segments of Zootopia and do while listening, uh, pre listening, after listening, like post listening uh, uh, activities. Also, we can do quizzes, reading tasks. Uh, we can just uh, want uh, them write something about the, what they watched or speaking with anything we can do uh, in a short amount of time at lesson with uh, little segments of the movie. And how can we use it out of the class? Uh, we can just assign them to watch it at home, maybe uh, some segments, maybe all the movie. It depends their time uh, and uh, what you want to assign them. And uh, with this assignment, students can uh, write some essay about it. For example, my favorite character and why. Why this character uh, attracts me more? Or my favorite scene is this, why? And, uh, both writing and speaking is optional for this task. Also, uh, we can ask them, uh, we can ask them to uh, to do some video posting as I told before, and also we can ask them to uh, imitate or dub or role play, maybe at lesson, maybe out of lesson. Both uh, both are optional. And conclusion. Why animated movies should be used as a part of lesson? Because when we uh, try to teach them at school in our lesson, we can grab their attention uh, maximum uh, 45 minutes three times a week. But if we assign them, if uh, we teach them by animated movies, uh, they will just they want to watch it. Uh, they already watch it with their cousins or friends or at home, and they also like to play with their mobile phones or computer games uh, and uh, computers also. Uh, but we know that uh, while they have assignments, uh, parents don't let them to uh, to use mobile phones or computers. They say that okay, complete your assignment and uh, do everything, and then come take your mobile phone. But if they have assignments. They can uh, uh, say that, okay, I have English assignment, I need to watch it, you can do it. And it makes them uh, interested in uh, English tasks more than other tasks. They want to do that. And then Mission Lou, which has a good story, uh, good graphics, also can grab uh, their attention. So they learn the language itself unconsciously. They don't know that they are learning it. They just watch and they catch the phrases, catch the words, catch the pronunciation. Even uh, I saw that uh, one student used the word in a wrong way uh, about the pronunciation and other uh, corrected. I heard this in that video. They say it like this. They don't know, but unconsciously they get the word. And after they get motivated to learn a language, we can do anything we want to uh, teach them because they are already motivated. Uh, the teachers are uh, the most hard task to motivate their students because everyone is different. Their uh, uh, interests are different. Like they, uh, one of them is interested in, for example, that thing and the other 
other things. But if they are weighted, we can do anything. And so uh, they like like uh, imitating. They already like it. They do uh, imitation of their like they imitate their teachers and other classmates, and they love imitating their characters too. Uh, because it's fashionable, it seems fashionable and cool. They want to do this. It's just not about the lesson, it's about their inner motivation. Okay, as the last segment of video, I want you to watch this video and uh, then I'll end it. Uh, I want you to see. Do you see the plate? Uh, what do you think? Do you... Yeah? Fast animal, yeah. It turns out, it turns out that. Uh, Slot also can be fast, and also uh, it's uh, in the Tokyo they have slogan anyone can be anything. It turns out that stereotyping isn't work, isn't working there. Yeah, they can be fast in another way, maybe not that way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was my presentation. Presentation, and I want you to ask me a question if you have. That's all. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you uh, for your uh, time. Okay.